The Nikon Z92 and Nikon Z9H are rumored high-speed upgrades to Nikon's flagship Z9 camera, with features positioning them as top choices for sports, wildlife, and action photography. Both models are anticipated to push the boundaries of what's possible for professional photographers, but each may have a unique edge. Let's break down the rumored specifications, explore how they differ, and see what advantages each model might offer based on the latest leaks. The Nikon Z92 is expected to build on the success of the original Z9, but what truly sets it apart is its anticipated global shutter. For photographers working with fast-moving subjects, this could be a groundbreaking feature. While traditional rolling shutters capture the image sensor sequentially, creating potential distortions, a global shutter captures the entire image at once, eliminating issues like rolling shutter effects when panning or capturing swift motion. This makes the Z92 an ideal choice for high-speed subjects in sports, wildlife, and automotive photography, where even the slightest distortion can compromise the image. Beyond the global shutter, the Z92 is rumored to feature a powerful 20.4-megapixel sensor with an extremely fast readout speed of 0.4 milliseconds. This rapid readout could allow photographers to capture split-second action with pinpoint precision, while the global shutter ensures even the swiftest movements are captured accurately and without distortion. For sports and wildlife photographers, this combination promises to elevate the level of detail and clarity in each shot, no matter how fast the subject is moving. Another standout feature reportedly on the Z92 is its industry-leading flash synchronization speed of 1, 2,000 of a second. This is a feature rarely seen in cameras today and holds particular appeal for studio photographers and high-end fashion shoots where flash timing is critical. Such a fast sync speed could open up new creative possibilities for photographers working in controlled lighting environments, allowing for sharper images with intricate flash setups that were previously out of reach. In terms of processing power, the Nikon Z92 is likely to feature dual XSpeed 7 processors, although some photographers were hoping for Nikon's newer XSpeed 8 chip. Despite this, dual XSpeed 7 processors are highly capable of managing high-speed continuous shooting and advanced video features, making the Z92 a formidable machine in terms of both performance and efficiency. The Nikon Z9H, on the other hand, is rumored to be Nikon's answer to the high-speed action cameras offered by Canon and Sony such as the Canon R1, R3 and Sony A93. Like the Z92, the Z9H is expected to feature a 20.4 megapixel sensor with a blazing fast readout speed of 0.4 milliseconds, ensuring rapid image capture and accurate, distortion-free shots of fast-paced subjects. Where the Z9H seems to diverge from the Z92 is its emphasis on extreme speed and performance. Nikon appears to be designing the Z9H specifically for ultra-high-speed shooting to keep up with Canon and Sony's leading action cameras. While it's unclear if the Z9H will feature a global shutter like the Z92, if it does not, the Z92 may have an advantage in certain scenarios requiring minimal distortion. However, the Z9H's high-speed focus suggests it may still excel in many action-oriented settings, even if it lacks this feature. Flash sync speed is another strong point for the Z9H, with rumors indicating it will also support flash synchronization speeds of up to 1, 2,000 of a second. This places the Z9H on par with the Z9 II in terms of flash performance, making both cameras excellent choices for studio work in high-end fashion photography where precise flash timing is crucial for capturing fine details and achieving creative lighting effects. Like the Z92, the Z9H is also expected to be powered by dual XSpeed 7 processors. Though Nikon is reportedly working on newer chips, the XSpeed 7 is still a highly capable processor that should handle the demands of high-speed shooting and advanced video features without difficulty. For photographers who prioritize speed above all, the Z9H could be an excellent choice. The Z92 appears to be a versatile powerhouse combining high-speed performance with innovative technology like the global shutter, making it ideal for sports, wildlife, and automotive photography. The Z9H, meanwhile, seems tailored for photographers who need the fastest performance possible, 
aiming to compete directly with Sony's A93 and Canon's R1, R3 series. For photographers focused purely on action photography, the Z9H could be the more specialized option, while the Z9 II may appeal to those seeking both speed and versatility. One of the primary distinctions between the two models lies in the shutter technology. The Z9 II is rumored to include a global shutter, a feature that would greatly reduce rolling shutter distortions, especially when capturing high-speed motion. In contrast, it's uncertain whether the Z9H will include a global shutter. For photographers who frequently deal with fast-moving subjects, this could be a deciding factor, as a global shutter would ensure the highest level of image accuracy and clarity. Both cameras are expected to feature flash sync speeds of 1, 2,000 of a second, a remarkable achievement for professional cameras today. This capability makes the Z9 II and Z9H well-suited for controlled settings like studio photography, where precise flash timing can significantly enhance image quality and provide creative options previously unavailable at such high speeds. Both the Z9 II and Z9H will likely come equipped with dual XSpeed 7 processors, which provide more than sufficient speed and processing power for continuous high-speed shooting, quick readouts, and demanding video capabilities. While Nikon's newer XSpeed 8 chip is not expected in these models, the XSpeed 7 should meet the demands of most professionals. Nonetheless, the absence of the newer processor may raise questions for some photographers about whether these models are fully future-proofed. Both models are rumored to be nearing their final stages of development, with potential release dates hovering between Q4 of 2024 and Q1 of 2025. Given that Nikon is still testing these models, it's hard to say which one will hit the market first or whether they'll be released simultaneously. The Z9 II might be positioned as the more mainstream option, while the Z9H could target a more niche market of photographers needing blazing fast performance. Choosing between the Nikon Z9 II and Z9H ultimately depends on your specific photography needs. The Z9 II, with its rumored global shutter, offers versatility by eliminating distortion for fast-moving subjects, making it ideal for a wide range of genres, from sports to studio photography. The Z9H, meanwhile, is geared towards ultra-fast performance, positioned to compete with Sony and Canon's top action cameras. With its high-speed shooting and powerful dual XSpeed 7 processors, the Z9H appeals to professionals focused on extreme speed. Both cameras promise exciting advancements in action photography, pushing Nikon's lineup to new heights. 